So Sarah's on the phone with somebody right now who says he's got one of our boards with no remote and no charger, which is, seems kind of rare. Suspect it may be a stolen board. Yep. Good morning, Monday morning here. Team's a bit slow, <laughs> but Josh is in. Hey! This is, this is Josh's first day. He's been in about so. five minutes and making progress and so he's far. He's, he's <laughs> up on Wi-Fi. That's yeah. a start. Yeah. So first what are you, you going to be doing here? Uh, sales. So we're going to be working on upselling current customers, reaching out to other businesses, seeing what other, the other people we could reach out to and seeing where we can maximize uh, revenue. Beautiful. So Josh is here to get the word out about these sweet products and coming up with a game plan right now. So I was recently called out by one of our awesome long time supporters slash customers recently for not providing you guys with an update of what we're doing here in Shanghai. Um, totally fair enough, totally rightly, uh, but it came as a bit of a shock because um, all we've been doing for the last year and a half is, is product design and development. And Paul was saying, it doesn't look like you guys are doing much in terms of innovation and design. And we're like, oh my goodness, we're doing so much. But obviously, if we don't keep you guys informed, then there's no way for you to know. So going to go around the office and um, try and quickly talk through what we've been doing, the plans going forward this year, what we're going to be releasing. Without giving too much away, I don't want to completely ruin the surprise. But yeah, just gonna go through through some of the products. First up is Mr. Tim. So brother, hey guys. He's one of our main engineers, designers, developers, and Tim's been working on a really exciting project for the last seven, eight months. Yeah, Tim, give us a quick quick talk through, mate. Oh, so here you can see all of the detailed components of the bike. So the factory knows how to assemble the whole bike and make sure that all of these components get attached to the bike before sending off. For this project, Tim's going to be responsible for the whole thing from, from start to finish. So still a fair way to go, but we're hoping to get, the, to get the first prototype ready in probably about two months, I think. Okay, now on to Mav. Mav is another one of our design engineers. He's been working on a really cool project. So we've actually got the product right here. I can't show you it completely, but what we're gonna do probably is pixelate it. Um, and yeah, but I think, you know, it's, because it's, it's gonna come out so quickly, um, pretty happy for you to have a, a kind of, you know, a, a good, good preview, good demo of what this bike is gonna be. Office member, here's Jean. Say hello, Jean. Hello. <laughs> Jean's been with us from Beijing. Jean does our uh, logistics and some other admin. And so Jean's been with us pretty much from the start, hey, about three years ago. Yes. And moved down from Beijing, as I said, with us. Just moved into a new apartment. How's the new apartment? It's good. Good? Yeah. What do you prefer, Shanghai or Beijing? Shanghai. Shanghai. Yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> On to our genius web developer, Andrew. Andrew's from Russia. Say hello, mate. Hey. And so, yeah, Andrew's responsible, obviously, for our for our website, but also what he's working on at the moment. Can I show you some of this? Is it yeah. confidential? Okay. Yeah, this is... So, we haven't released this yet, but yeah, Andrew's going to give you a, a quick preview of what this is. So, this is a... This is our full... We've designed a... Or Andrew's been working really hard for, I don't know, the last seven months or so on a new CRM system, customer relationship management. So that's going to incorporate all our in-house uh, communications, as well as pretty much just incorporate everything we're doing in the company. You know, what this will be doing is just making 
the whole customer service process a lot more fluid, um, ordering and you know post sales, and yeah, just to make it a lot easier for everyone, especially you guys, um, just to give you the best service possible. So yeah, cheers, mate. So yeah, so that's it from Shanghai. Just a quick update. Um, we have got another container of bikes going to the US um, next week, hopefully, maybe the week after. But that is also going to, oh, that's some designs in the background there. Um, but yeah, so hopefully um, that's going to be going out next week and that will be including a couple new products as well, a couple more new products. So yeah, Mr. Dieter, we have been working incredibly hard with design and development. Sorry for not sharing with you guys. Um, we'll keep you updated more in the future, but all of these products will be coming out this year. And as I say, um, a couple more new products in the next container that'll be heading to the US next week. So yeah, that's it from Shanghai. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. See you next time. Makeup check. 30 miles an hour, how's it look? <laughs> Welcome. Welcome everybody to Crystal. Hey, this is my brother, Ronnie Rad. Check it out. How's it going? What are you skating on? Uh, it's a miles board. What are you up to, man? Uh, we're gonna go fishing. Oh, uh, no it's way. Gabby. What's up, Gabby? Hi. I'm Rob. Gabby. How are you? Good, you? Hi. Are you trying to get your surf on out here? Absolutely. I heard the waves are gonna be five to ten feet. Are you ready? No. <laughs> we'll enjoy, guys. Wait, where's your skateboard? You don't have a miles board? Mm, you know where to get milespower.com. Financing as low as 88 cents a day. <laughs> All right, you guys take it easy. Catch some fish. Peace out, brother. What do you think? You like it? Yeah. Oh. oh my God, smile. This is this is her design. She made this. What's what's his name? Hey William, I think we got a little skater in the family. Um, today we've got the shoot with Gavin at Wind and Sea. Um, dude does like parkour and crazy flips and shit. He used to be a parkour instructor. So we'll get a cool like interview with him. It'd be kind of lame just to shoot him by himself skating the board, I think so. Like, I don't know, we can maybe get his girlfriend out or somebody wants to come skate with us. We don't have coffee breaks here. <laughs> Hard at work at the office. So Sarah's on the phone with somebody right now who says he's got one of our boards with no remote and no charger, which is, seems kind of rare. I suspect it may be a stolen board. Yeah, yeah, 230 works. Just make sure that, yeah, so you can bring it in and then we can just pair the remote for you. All right, perfect. See you soon. Bye. How did he bring it in? Oh my God. So this guy's going to bring a board in that may or may not be stolen. <laughs> hey. 
What up, what up? In the middle. So it's technically not a snowboard. You ride it on the pavement. What up, George? How's it going, Axel? Let's see what the boss is doing. So I'm, re I'm reviewing the IMFLX Mark and Susie video, uh, which is going to be, it should be pretty much in episode one. Uh, we just got this back from our master editor, Neno, who's put this together and it's looking awesome. You guys want to look at this? Let me turn the sound off for you. I love having a motor on the bike because there are times, um, maybe if I'm tired or you know, getting up a rough hill, I really need the little help. The video is looking so awesome. Just going through it, making sure all the grammar makes sense. This is uh, Mark and Susie. They've got a blade and a trail, and they just love them. They brought them closer together, and being able to hear their story firsthand and how these bikes have changed their lives. Man, that is a good feeling. So we gotta, we got to get more of these out, change more lives. Couldn't have said it better myself. Hearing their story was super awesome. They're a great group of people. Check in all of our medias and stay tuned. Just headed out of the office right now. We're gonna do a shoot at Wind and Sea Beach with a local athlete. His name is Gavin, super talented. Can't wait to show you guys his skills. But uh, he's gonna shred around on the boards with us, have some fun, create a little video. All right, we'll see you guys there. My name is Gavin Velasco, I'm born and raised in San Diego, I've been here my whole life. I've been skating my whole life, I got into it when I was a kid. I've never really considered myself a skater, but I've always had pretty good dexterity. So, as an athlete, uh, mainly like parkour, free running, flipping, tricking, just movement in general, that's my absolute favorite thing. I'm not a big like, team sports kind of guy, uh, but uh, I've done like free diving, just pretty much all extreme sports, I'm super down for, especially if it's like an individual sport. When I first started getting into flips, um, obviously like it's all about progression. You start and you're not doing like the hardest things and at first like I'm doing things now that when I first started I didn't even dream of, I couldn't even like comprehend were possible. So at the time like we're really scary but now, now that I, like, I know my body, like I know what I'm capable of, I'm able to kind of progress into things at a safe pace but um, still like execute like crazy, crazy stuff. Today was my first day riding the miles board and I was a little nervous at first because I've, I've been on a boosted board like three times in my life, but all of them have been like big clunky boosted boards, not like this which is like sleek and small and ready to go, so I was kind of excited uh, and it, it was easy. Like at first it was like, you know, you kind of take some getting used to the first five minutes, but I totally like picked it up no problem and it controlled really easy, the acceleration was easy to figure out and had a great time doing it. First I was worried that it was going to wobble because it was a lot smaller, but it was super stable and when I was riding it I was able to carve and turn and do everything I needed to do. So I know on a longboard you have to have a hill in order to do slides and stuff, so you have to be going fast, which is kind of sketch if you're new to it. Um, so I'm excited about the miles board because with this, with just any electric skateboard, you can go on a flat surface and I want to start doing like slides and try stuff like that where I don't have to be bombing a hill to do it. So primarily, I'm a photographer, videographer, social media influencer, I do the whole content creation game. Best way to find me is on Instagram, at Gavin J. Velasco, same on YouTube, Gavin Velasco, and my website, same thing. That's a action cam, not a GoPro, $50 4K action cam. So. Don't have very high expectations for this, but if we want to go out surfing or you know take something in the mud, get real dirty or get some secondary shots, this should help out. So maybe we do like a little quality comparison, show you guys what a $400 GoPro Hero 7 looks like compared to a $50 Dragon Touch Action Camera Vision 3 
4K Ultra HD sports cam looks like. There's your $50 GoPro knockoff. Hey, yeah. blue light, dragon touch. All right, we're gonna do a takeover. Spontaneously In combust. Three, two, one. Hey, it's recording. All right, welcome, <laughs> welcome to the Electric Love Show, filmed on a dragon. How do we look? Vision 3 4K. With FLX H2, we've got the GoPro on the left, Dragon Touch on the right. All right, see if you can match the angle. All right, we're side by side. Eric's over there. I'm over here. Go. GoPro versus Dragon Touch. One, two, three, go. Oh, <laughs> Ultra HD Vision 3, fifty dollar action Let cam. Let know what you think. <laughs> Went to work early today. Also off early, so we could go surfing. <laughs> So this is our first time on these new boards from Superbrand and they're way smaller than the boards we're used to so we'll see how this goes. Shit's getting serious out here. Wet suits off. Let's do it. Got out of the water. Still cold here in San Diego. How was it? How was the temperature? Good, cold, but so excited for summer. Rip the new boards. Oh my God, so much fun. Totally sent it. First, caught every wave. <laughs> every wave. First, first time on a board that small. I honestly didn't think I could do it just because my normal board is like three times the size, and that's hard for me. But this one got up, pounded it, got pitted. Well, pow! Hit the lip. It was nuts. Yes. Amazing. Well, I thought I was done with my spreadsheets for the rest of my life a couple weeks ago. But, alas, I uh, had found a mistake in them. So I've been working that out. Spreadsheets on spreadsheets. But I'm listening to some great music. It's called Spirit Bird by Javier Rudd. There's a two-hour version on YouTube, which... Pete and I actually, we founded the company on this song. What we would do is take some smart drugs that would make you focus really hard, and we'd listen to this over and over and over and over again while we were building the website, uh, writing about the product, sourcing components, things like that. So getting in the mood for some solid, solid jam time. Finally got that done again. So hopefully this is the last time I'll ever talk about these spreadsheets. So I want to get some good work done before the start of this week. It's Sunday evening. I want to get everything ready for a solid week of just jam, 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 providing serious value to the Miles family, FLX family out there. So what I'm going to do is plan a bit of my week, some major goals to hit. Also think about everybody on the team, you know, what one thing can each person do that would bring massive value to the rider community and to the company as well. So there's that, planning those out, and also just working on some stuff that I haven't been able to do, like hiring, hiring uh, more help, also training a bit of our remote employees. So I'm gonna smash that out and then finalize quarter two goals. So quarter one goals, slip behind a bit because of the spreadsheets. Uh, quarter two goals, we gotta be a bit more serious about it. 
not just for the business, for everybody there, but myself as well. I wanna smash those out, finalize them now, because the 12 week goal year starts tomorrow. Next episode on the Electric Club. Out with the crew, we got Ben here. What's up guys?